Hey besties, hi bestie. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's been three years since I started listening to K-pop and to think how many things have changed already shakes me up sometimes. Because if you have been a K-pop fan longer than me, it must be even weirder, and at the same time, more exciting for you to see how much K-pop has evolved. So in this video I will be talking about some things that I want back in K-pop that used to be very normalized some time before. With that being said, let's jump right in. I think 2019 was the last year to have fun on cause after that all I see is either idols being too stiff on stage because there's just too much pressure on them to hit all the notes or idols just being very boring. There are some exceptions for example the boys, they always do something chaotic and make encore super fun but apart from them, I think encore stages for most groups have become quite boring. Maybe that's because there isn't any live audience like it used to be before the pandemic, but whatever the reason is, I just miss those chaotic encore stages sometimes and I would very much like them to come back. Because do you remember the helium trend or the part switch versions? Or when twice ate ice? Or when BTS wore lipsticks lol? I can go on for days about how good the encores used to be before. But I think you guys get the point. Well the ISAC which stands for Idol Star Athletics Championship is one of my most favorite thing about K-pop. And I'm guessing you guys is too because look at the views on these videos I posted lol. This was one thing that made me truly enjoy the K-pop content apart from the music itself of course. And made me look more into the groups and their reality shows and behind the scenes. Because let's be honest, this used to be so fun and entertaining to watch. Especially the interactions that Isaac are still one of the best kind of interactions between K-pop idols in my opinion. I love me some good moments. To feed my multi-stan heart, these Isaac events stopped because of the pandemic in 2020 and after that I have stopped keeping up with it too. One of the main reason being my favorite groups not going anymore. So is it too much to ask for an Isaac? event where all the groups attend even groups that are now considered senior, I think it'll be a whole lot of fun for idols and for their fans collectively. Okay I know that this trend is never ending and people including me are still posting in popular opinion videos, but it's not in as much abundance as it used to be around 2018-2019 like that time this was the trend. You wouldn't be considered a K-pop YouTuber if you hadn't at least made 23 videos with different titles about unpopular K-pop opinions. No matter how popular or unpopular your opinions were, you just had to put them out there. And I don't know about you all, but I miss that trend. Just people saying whatever they felt, sometimes even without an explanation. It was so very interesting. I used to have my meals with unpopular K-pop opinions. Brutally honest opinions for the breakfast. K-pop opinions that are going to get me cancelled for the lunch. And not so unpopular K-pop opinions for dinner lol. If you were active on K-pop YouTube around that time, you would find so much content to process like one creator would just say something straight up bizarre and one would make so much sense. You will question your own knowledge and I love that. Sure there were some times that I didn't really like people's opinions, but they were still very fun to watch. If you agree with me, or if you enjoy just a little bit, watching that, please leave an unpopular opinion in the comments, it's been a while since I read any. Where is this bitch? I don't know if there's something wrong with K-pop these days, or was there something just so great about the 2017, 2018 K-pop era that I just can't seem to get over it. God I'm starting to sound like second gen stands a lot these days, but you know ironically, I miss those days quite a lot. The songs were a different kind of content from K-pop. Each genre, each concept was thriving. Even though the girl crush concepts were full in force, but the cute as the in summary concepts also peeked through here and there. There were also dark concepts, and then the edgy concepts, and despite the fact that they all were so different from each other, they all somehow slayed. 
I'm honestly yearning for a replay of 2017 and 2018 K-pop era. I could kill to get releases like that again. I don't know why K-pop stylists almost never style these K-pop groups in uniform outfits anymore. Because these look so great specially. When a song has a powerful choreography, it just gives an edge to the whole performance. I still can't get over Dreamcatcher's outfits from Deja Vu. Because those in themselves were a cultural reset. Not only did they make watching the performances 10 times better, but also gave me another reason to love deja vu same goes for eyes one's outfits for fiesta the outfits were gorgeous they looked so beautiful and together i didn't like fiesta one bit to this day i hate the sound of it but i'll rewatch the stage mixes every once in a while just to appreciate the beautiful dresses same goes for the outfits monster x wore on their showcases for shootout the outfits were asterisk chef's kisses asterisk so yeah, in short please bring back similar outfits for group performances cause they never miss. The closest we've been at getting a uniform look from a K-pop group these days is when Red Velvet wore these gorgeous, gorgeous white and black dresses for their Feel My Rhythm promotion. And look for yourself don't they look mesmerizing. Contrary to popular belief I am actually one of those people who don't hate or mind lip syncing at least not during the promotion era on the music stages. I think it helps idols focus more on performance and less on vocals and it can make the performance more visually appealing sometimes. But when it comes to concerts or fan meets, I think not singing live is kind of not fair, because your fans are legit paying to hear you sing and then what they end up getting is just a loud backtrack with some poorly done ad libs and that is the main reason why I miss K-pop idols singing live a lot more these days. Bitch, you better be working. It's been so long since we got an OT4 Blackpink comeback and it makes me so mad that we have to wait a decade. To get one song into remixes from their already existing songs from YG every stupid time, Love Sick Girls came and slayed, but it's been 2 years since their last OT4 comeback and I think it's high time that we either get a Jizu solo or an OT4 comeback. YG you better start working. Anyways guys these are some things that I want back in K-pop. Honestly speaking the list is quite lengthy, so I have only included the ones that I think you guys would also agree to. Feel free to add on to the conversation, and also feel free to act like a second gen stan, and say I miss the old K-pop, because you know what, I can relate. Anyways that's pretty much it for today's video Imma just head out to listen to get it by Pristin V now. See y'all later. Take care and bye.